Close your eyes for a moment and picture our world, but with one colossal difference. Dinosaurs never went extinct. Imagine the bustling cities, the serene countryside and the vast oceans, all teeming with these ancient giants. They roam the planet as the dominant species, their mighty forms casting long shadows across the land. Skyscrapers and modern architecture blend with the prehistoric presence of these magnificent creatures. Towering sauropods graze on treetops, their long necks reaching for the highest leaves. Imagine walking through a park and looking up to see a Brachiosaurus calmly munching on the foliage. Packs of velociraptors, swift and cunning, stalk their prey through dense jungles. These agile hunters would navigate the urban jungle with ease, their predatory instincts honed over millions of years. The ground trembles beneath the weight of a Tyrannosaurus rex, its bone-chilling roar echoing through the air. Imagine the sheer terror of encountering such a beast on your daily commute. In this world, humans are not the apex predators. We are just another species, fighting for survival in a world dominated by giants. Our cities would need to be fortified, our lives constantly on alert. The question that arises is a chilling one. Could humanity survive in such a world? Would our intelligence and ingenuity be enough to keep us safe? Could we, with our relatively fragile bodies and our reliance on technology, coexist with these magnificent creatures that ruled the Earth millions of years ago? Our advancements in science and engineering would be put to the ultimate test. This is not a question with an easy answer. It depends on a multitude of factors, a complex interplay between the dinosaurs themselves, the environment, and the resilience of the human spirit. Our ability to adapt and innovate would be crucial. To even begin to answer this question, we must first understand the challenges we would face. The sheer size and strength of these creatures would pose significant threats. What kinds of dinosaurs would we be dealing with? The diversity of species would mean a variety of challenges, from the massive herbivores to the deadly carnivores. Would they be the gentle giants of the Jurassic period or the cunning predators of the Cretaceous? Each type would require different strategies for coexistence. How would our technology fare against their raw power and size? Our machines and infrastructure would need to be incredibly robust to withstand their presence. And perhaps most importantly, could we adapt to live in a constant state of fear, always aware of the danger lurking in the shadows? Our psychological resilience would be tested like never before, as we navigate a world where the past and present collide in a dramatic and dangerous dance. The threat posed by dinosaurs would vary greatly depending on the species. Each type of dinosaur would bring its own unique challenges and dangers to our modern world. Giant herbivores like the Brachiosaurus or Stegosaurus might pose little direct threat to humans. These gentle giants would be more interested in grazing on vegetation than in attacking people. They would be more akin to natural disasters, their sheer size and weight capable of causing immense destruction. Imagine the ground shaking as they walk, their massive footprints leaving craters in the streets. Imagine a herd of these behemoths migrating across the land, flattening everything in their path. Roads, parks and even entire neighbourhoods could be obliterated under their enormous feet. Buildings would crumble, forests would be razed and humans would be forced to flee for their lives. The sheer force of their movement would leave a trail of devastation in their wake. However, the real danger would come from the carnivorous dinosaurs. These predators would see humans as potential prey, making them a constant threat. The Tyrannosaurus rex, with its powerful jaws and bone-crushing teeth, needs no introduction. This apex predator would be a terrifying presence in any urban environment. It is the epitome of a prehistoric predator, capable of bringing down prey far larger than itself. Its sheer size and strength would make it nearly unstoppable, but even smaller predators like the Velociraptor or Deinonychus would pose a significant threat. These agile hunters would be able to navigate through tight spaces and ambush unsuspecting victims. These intelligent pack hunters were swift and deadly, their sharp claws and teeth more than capable of tearing through flesh. Working together, they could take down prey much larger than themselves. 
Living in a world with such creatures would be a constant exercise in vigilance. Every step outside would require careful planning and awareness of potential threats. We would need to be constantly aware of our surroundings, always on the lookout for signs of danger. Modern technology would likely play a crucial role in detecting and avoiding these ancient predators. Our cities, our homes, even our modes of transportation would need to be designed with defence in mind. Fortified structures and advanced security systems would become essential for survival. The world as we know it would be a very different place. The presence of dinosaurs would reshape our cities, our lifestyles and our very way of life, creating a new and challenging reality. Fortunately, humans are not without their own advantages. Our ability to think critically and adapt quickly has always set us apart in the natural world. Our greatest asset in this hypothetical scenario would be our intelligence and our ability to innovate. This innovation has driven us to create tools and technologies that have transformed our world. We have, throughout history, used our ingenuity to overcome countless obstacles and a world ruled by dinosaurs would be no different. From the wheel to the internet, our capacity to solve problems is unparalleled. One can imagine a future where humans develop advanced weaponry capable of fending off even the largest predators. High-powered lasers, sonic weapons and other cutting-edge technologies could be our first line of defence. Perhaps even genetically engineered defences could all play a role in our survival. These biotechnological advancements could provide us with new ways to protect ourselves. Drones and other autonomous vehicles could be used for reconnaissance providing early warning of approaching dinosaurs and allowing us to avoid danger. These machines could patrol our cities and wilderness areas, keeping us informed and safe. But technology would be more than just a weapon. It would be an essential tool for daily life, helping us to adapt and thrive in this new world. It could also be used to study dinosaurs, to understand their behavior and learn how to coexist with them. By observing and analysing their patterns, we could find ways to live alongside these ancient creatures. We could use sensors and tracking devices to monitor their movements, to predict their behaviour and to avoid conflict whenever possible. This data would be invaluable in creating strategies for peaceful coexistence. Perhaps with enough understanding, we could even learn to communicate with them, to forge a fragile peace in a world we share. This communication could open new doors to mutual respect and harmony. To survive in a world dominated by dinosaurs, we would need to do more than just defend ourselves. We would need to learn to live alongside them, to understand their behaviour and adapt our own accordingly. This would require a deep understanding of their social structures, their feeding habits, their mating rituals and their territorial boundaries. We might find that some species are more tolerant of humans than others. Perhaps some herbivores would be indifferent to our presence, content to graze peacefully in our vicinity. We might even be able to establish symbiotic relationships with some species, much like we have with certain animals today. However, other species would undoubtedly prove more challenging. Predators with large territories, for example, would likely see humans as competition for resources and react accordingly. We would need to learn to avoid these areas or risk becoming prey ourselves. The key to our survival would lie in understanding these nuances, in learning to read the signs of aggression and appeasement, and in adapting our behaviour to minimise conflict.